You guys remember Amazing Stories where they had the yeah. cartoonist trapped in the underbelly of the plane and he drew fake wheels? Why were you guys acting to that? You guys have no idea how that is. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, I, Thank you. I think I, I became a cartoonist after a while. Because like, if I was ever going to be in the gunner thing and I was going to pray, <laughs> I'll make it my own All right, we got time for one more. Let's pull one over here. Your hand was up first, I think. So, Brian touched on the fact that there's no really good sci fi right now on TV. Uh, Defiance is good, Continuum is it's nice as well. But I remember a time when there was, I think, three Star Treks and uh, Deep Space Nine uh, and uh, Stargate. Stargate, and yeah. uh, BSG. Stargate Atlantis. Stargate Atlantis. <laughs> so, so, my question is... Stargate SUV, or wait. <laughs> SUV. Uh, yeah. uh, that, that was Stargate one Las Vegas. Stargate Las Vegas. <laughs> I prefer Star Trek Wyoming. Yeah. Yeah. So, that was Enterprise, I believe, no? I know, maybe. <laughs> uh, so my question is, why isn't there and uh, what uh, franchise from uh, books or otherwise could make it and, and fill that niche of the good, the very good sci-fi? There's, there's only one question. franchise that, and I don't know how, how they'll crack it, and I don't believe it'll end up being good, but it is near and dear to my heart. Uh, and we keep getting teased with it, and that's the Dark Tower. I think there's oh. such oh. massive... Oh. Is that sci-fi? That's sci-fi. That's sci-fi. That's sci-fi. That's sci-fi. That's sci-fi. Okay. That's okay. You ever read it? It turns. It's That's not science fiction. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Go watch Casablanca. Wait, this is... My favorite series of all time. Isn't it yours? Oh yeah. yeah it's easy. an amazing book. I'd say it's a mix. It's definitely got fantasy on it. It's also a big old fat western half the time, which I love. Sure. Stylistic. It's amazing. Yeah, there, there, there was talking about uh, keeps yeah, going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything from it being an HBO series to the, uh, at one point there was a deal where they had a deal for three movies and two seasons of a television show that would be between the movies that would tell episodes of what happened. Um, you know, who, who knows where it's going to go? And I just, I just feel like we're all going to be disappointed in the end. Which is uh, <laughs> as far as science fiction goes, uh, and I've only read the first of the series, but uh, Hyperion. Ooh, that's, so, yes. that's going to be my answer, actually. Um, well, I don't know how, how it would work. Period. I'll tell you, but it's just... Like it, Dan Simmons. Yeah, it, it's an amazing universe and a really, really rich uh, universe that you could... Uh, that I think you could you could get a lot of... You know, especially for television, you could uh, really, really mind that. And uh, I enjoyed the hell out of it. And then also, uh, I mean, I would love to see... There are some of the narrative elements in uh, Pandora's Star. Oh, my uh, God, yes! <laughs> and Judas Unchained, the book after that, that I think... Uh, were, would be tailor made for. There's only three reactions you, me, and Peter F. Hamilton in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 